Unreal! Imagine being vaccinated with the quad booster add-on and still freaking out about some arbitrary COVID rule that apparently the White House doesn't even enforce. But instead, by self-appointed Karens like Kelly O'Donnell here, a well-known Democrat party hack from NBC. Now, I'm not 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure that Asian reporter that was being berated was actually there for an appearance by a Korean pop group called BTS. Seriously, I don't know anything about this group outside the fact I apparently do have some of their Fortnite emotes. Anyway, hilariously, this altercation happened just before their press conference that was ironically addressing anti-Asian hate and disinformation. No doubt because they're still trying to deflect from the true source of most anti-Asian hate over to Trump and their political opponents. Hmm, I really wonder how all of this would be playing out right now if this altercation happened between Fox News' Peter Ducey and that Asian reporter. <laughs> One question I thought of while I was putting together this video and I found interesting about this exchange, what authority does Kelly O'Donnell have to enforce her arbitrary rules on this reporter? Sorry, I don't have her name. I hate having to refer to her as Asian reporter. But at one point she asked if somebody could go get a White House representative that she could ask about these COVID rules. And Kelly O'Donnell says that, no, no, that's not something the White House enforces. That's something that we journalists enforce in here. Who does she think she is? She has no special authority in that room than any other American citizen would have. This is my question. Is the White House press briefing room a public space? I ask because right on their website, it says that location in one of the oldest parts of the White House, nestled between the fabled residence and the West Wing, is evidence alone of the key role the news media has come to play as an intermediary between the public and the executive branch of the United States government. The fact of the matter is, the corporate press doesn't have any special privilege to free speech or journalism. The Constitution and the First Amendment make every American citizen citizen a journalist. So here's my question. I honestly don't know the answer to it. Is the White House press briefing room a public space where every American citizen has the constitutional guaranteed right to exercise their freedom of speech? If you know the answer to this question, please let us all know in the comment section. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. If you enjoyed it, please drag and punch that like button, share this video, and again, leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot. See you next time.